Okay, I just realized that I fully look like a librarian today, but that's okay. I'm wearing a white turtleneck. This is just like from Cotton On, I think. And then this sweater that I rented from Newly. It is free people. It's very oversized. This is a medium and it's like all the way down here. Just so you know. I think it's called Snow something. I don't know. Someone asked me for it and I looked it up and I forgot already. So that didn't even help you. And um, with my glasses and everything, just please return your books in the allotted time slot. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm sitting in my little corner seat because I still don't have like a comfortable chair for my desk, but I will eventually use my desk as my workspace. But I'm logging on and it is so nice. Oh, I didn't even do an intro to this video. Hello, how's it going? Welcome to a work week in my life. My name's Christy. If you're new here, what's up? Subscribe, it's a good time. Um, I post New York City vlogs, work week vlogs, apartment update vlogs, because I just moved into this place a little over a week ago. And I'm starting my, I keep finding stupid milestones that don't matter, my second week of work in this new apartment, but my first week of work in my new apartment with my own Wi-Fi so I can actually work in my apartment. So very good stuff, which was very relieving to be able to like log on on Slack and everything, just sitting here and not having to like rush up and book a room and blah, 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 which is not that big of a deal either, but it's just nice. <laughs> yeah, if you missed it in my last video, I did kind of a vlog over the weekend and my Wi-Fi was supposed to come and install. I've lived here since the 30th of January and today is February 8th. This was the earliest appointment they could do and I called them like days before I was moving. I knew that the building has communal Wi-Fi so I was like, I can work with this. They were supposed to come this morning at 8 a.m. a few days ago. I got an email that they moved it to 10, which is literally during my first meeting of the day. I got a call yesterday that was like, hey, we can actually come today. And then they were like, no, we can't. And they were like, yes, we can. And finally they came and installed my Wi-Fi so I can work in my apartment. I just logged on and opened my emails and everything. So I'm gonna get to work. I have my first meeting in a little over an hour. It's gonna be a good day. It's sunny, gonna be a good week. Oh, and also I forgot the backstory of I do UN advocacy. I started a few weeks ago at a nonprofit here in New York. Well, the nonprofit's not actually based in New York, but I'm working in their New York office because I'm working on the UN team. If you don't know what that is, I guess it's kind of vague if you're not in the field, but it's like, working to lobby in a sense, but it's not lobbying if you're not a private company, I'm pretty sure. So advocating for our mission basically, so like the issues we work on related to conflict and protecting civilians and advocating for you know member states and the UN legislation to include protections for them and certain things that we find in our work in the field and stuff. So I work kind of like the liaison um, helping to advocate and push for these agenda items at the UN. So if that helps. <laughs> I'm going to answer some emails and I'll catch you guys later. I just got off my first Zoom call and I think I'm gonna make a bagel because I'm really hungry actually. It's actually so nice just working in my apartment. The lighting is beautiful. The sun is shining. Okay, let's make a bagel. I'm gonna try the bagel setting on my new toaster. You're supposed to face it with the cut part out. It says they even have an image to remind you. And we're gonna go to bagel. Let's keep it on like three because it toasted my bread a lot on that yesterday and one slice. Oh wait, do you do this first? I don't know. <laughs> If you haven't tried the gluten-free everything bagels from Trader Joe's, you're missing out. Even if you're not gluten-free, I think they're bomb the best. Look at that. Nice, lightly toasted bagel. That's what we love to see. This actually turned out to be a really good cream cheese. I mentioned when I bought it that um, sometimes these ones from Trader Joe's, the vegan ones are hit or miss because they can be really liquidy, but this one, it turned out to be good. So, very proud of them. That's like the first bite of your bagel at 11 a.m. on a Monday, you know? <laughs> Second coffee of the day, two o'clock. Thank you for calling the permanent mission of the United Arab Emirates to the United Nations in New York. Sorry, operator is not available. Sorry, reception desk is not available. Record your message at the tone. I've been trying to make some calls. I kind of mentioned earlier, just like to give you guys a little more insight in what I do. A lot of it is like outreach and trying to build and forge new relationships at the UN 
to kind of champion and work on these issues within its own legislative body. Sometimes it's just hard to get a hold of people. So, you know, it's lots of calling and emailing and all that fun stuff. Yeah, anyway, it's almost five. It's like 4.40 for the day. And you guys, something super excited. I'm almost done with work for the day. I got a notification that my TV was delivered. So it wasn't supposed to come till tomorrow, but I'm very excited. Well, I still haven't gotten a notice from my building, so they might not have like processed it yet, but I got a email that it was delivered. So I'm stoked. Can't wait to set it up. And it's also perfect timing because I just got Wi-Fi yesterday so I can actually use it. I'm not getting cable. I'm just gonna use it with internet and then use, cause it's a smart TV so you can, I mean, I don't have to tell you this. This is like everyone who has a TV these days. I'm just gonna use like the Netflix streaming apps, YouTube, that kind of thing. There are certain things that I do like to watch live and by certain things I literally only mean The Bachelor. <laughs> I had like used my parents cable login on ABC's website. So um, I'm pretty sure ABC has an app too that I could download onto the TV and I could just log in to watch that live, but I'm not gonna like get a bunch of channels on cable. It's been a good productive work day. I'm just gonna make a couple more calls and try again and then kind of wrap up what I was working on. Then we'll be done. All right, kids, I just got the notification about a package being delivered for me. So I'm gonna go down and get my mail. I also think I have a small thing too. I'm very excited. We'll unbox the TV. Yes. Okay, so it turns out that none of the packages that they had ready for me were my TV. I think I must have a couple PR packages because these are things that I didn't order. The first one I did order, so I'll show you that. So I think I'm just learning that with a big building with so many people and packages incoming comes like a little bit of delay. Even though like it says it's delivered, they have their own processing of like you know, their system of um, like alerting people with packages and organizing them. So TV's down there somewhere. We'll wait until they're ready for me to get it. Oh, did I get the stainless steel one of these? I got this knife thing. It's a little more versatile than like a block with specific sizes for knives. I think for Christmas last year, my mom got me a set of knives and truthfully, like I had them tucked in the box in a drawer because I didn't have room for them anywhere else and i would always forget about them i had like one that i kept out and used but otherwise like i just forgot that i had all of them so i thought this would be pretty much the most effective way for me to use them and um keep them handy so i got one of these where all the slots for the knives are like the same size it's just this kind of thing where the knives fit like that and then they'll stop at the handle and yeah it's definitely a little larger than i thought but stainless steel goes with my appliances so that's cool too in these two boxes i don't know what they are so they must be pr my manager has my new address so i didn't expect these things this one's from peds i honestly am not like the kind of person who gets tons of pr packages so this is cute first of all fun funny brownie mix it's like valentine's themed that's very cute oh my god wait this is actually iconic roses are red violets are blue we have a fun Galentine's gift just for you. <laughs> the Ped Slipper High Cut and Super Soft Low Cut No Shows are available at Target.com. Whoa, these are actually very soft. No Show Ped Socks. They have little grippies at the bottom. I love those. Oh, whoa. This is a different high cut no show. I've never seen a sock with this kind of cut. Interesting. This will be good though. And then more of those in different colors. Thanks, Ped. There's also like little candies in here. They have heart shaped pot holders. And honestly, you guys, when I was moving, I was thinking I was like almost about to throw away my pot holders because they're just so old and not good. But I could definitely use a couple more and these are just freaking cute. So thanks, Ped. The next one says beverages on it and it's a little bit heavy. I have never heard of this company. I'm always down to try new things. And I have a beverage drawer now that apparently is like a meat and cheese drawer, but I just dubbed it the beverage drawer. The brand is called Nude. Oh my God. The nudes you actually want. Enjoy them cold. We hope you love them and let us know if you ever need a top up. Cheers, Team Nude at Nude Beverages. So, okay. Oh, it's a hard seltzer. Oh my god, damn, you guys, this is a lot. Wow, there are so many competing hard seltzer brands now. It's crazy. We got a 12 pack of nude hard seltzer, sugar free, sweetener free, carb free, 100 calories, raspberry lemon, mango, classic lime 
and Peach. Nude supports your local animal rescue organization, Adopt Dumb Shop. Very cute. So we got two of these multi packs, like variety packs. It's just simple white. It says nude. This one's peach. Cool. Okay, I'm super down. They're 5% alcohol and they're very cold from transit, so that's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna fill my fridge with these and put away this stuff. Exciting surprise unboxings that I didn't see coming. Cheers to that. Eventually we'll unbox the TV, but <laughs> later. Since so many of you thoroughly enjoyed the satisfying moment when I pulled off the film on this microwave in the last video, I thought it would be perfect to pull off the covering on this stainless steel knife block in this video. Oh, it's not as satisfying because it's just paper that's taped. Wow, I could have done that so much better. Ooh, it is black. I thought it was stainless steel. It's like stainless black. Okay, I dig it. Let's grab the knives. So this is the knife set that my mom got me that I really haven't gotten the proper use out of that they deserve. Yeah, see, they're like in their covering. I've definitely used some of them. They have so much more potential. Also, how perfect is it that the handles are green and black, which turned out to be the color scheme with the backsplash. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Yeah, some of these like, this is a big ass knife. Could have been using this all along. Ooh, it's got holes in it. I forgot about these. It's been so long. And how fun is it that they're like multicolored blades? Like that's pretty sick. Make a man out of you. Honestly, I think Make a Man Out of You from Mulan is one of the best Disney songs of all time. You can fight me on it and I'm sure you will. Okay, now it's bothering me that these are not in the proper handle size. So I'm gonna have to go like this. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. I have other knives too that I could put back there that are just in the drawer. I filled this drawer with my nude hard seltzers. Please ignore the competing brand. I'm just kidding, I'm not under contract with nude. This is just a very nice gift. But yeah, they fit nicely also in the middle, so I put the white claws over there. But I'm definitely stocked. I still have the other box too. So can't wait to try one. Again, I'm not really the type to just kind of like drink a casual one drink hanging out at home by myself, but I do want to try it. So maybe I will become that type for a day. So I have a couple of knives that aren't even that great. It's literally an Ikea knife. And then I have a couple that were hiding back there. Now I have a knife block. Another very, I don't want to use the word adult as an adjective. I honestly hate when people use the word adult as an adjective. It's very grown up of me, I'll say. <laughs> I'm mature and I have a knife block. Here's hoping I don't hurt myself somehow with this. Okay, cheers. Okay, I put on the ped socks. And honestly, they're a little funky looking. <laughs> but they have like grippies on the heels so they won't fall down, but they're super comfy. I was like, okay, this is the ultimate test because my NMDs are the hardest things to find with socks because they go so low. But look at that, it is perfect. It's like covering all the part that the shoe does, but it's not sticking out. So I am excited about these. You can get these peds at Target, it said. Again, not sponsored. They just randomly sent me this, but not complaining. These ones are called the High Cut No Show Socks. Then they also are these ones, Ultra Low Liner. So exciting stuff. The Dove wrappers are so cheesy. This one just says, be happy. BU, and it definitely reminds me, if you guys know, then you know, but Remy's sweatshirts that were like, be silly, be you, be yourself. I kind of wish Dove did that. Anyway, I literally, right after I broke down all the other boxes, got a notification about my TV being delivered. So let's go get it. There's 25 minutes until The Bachelor starts. So let's see if we can set it up before it does. <laughs> She has arrived, everyone. I'm so excited. I got a 32 inch because I didn't want it to be too big and it's a small space so I don't need it to like be super visible from far away. I got a Vizio. Honestly, I got one that was on sale. I am not picky <laughs> when it comes to things like TVs. I feel like a lot of them have very similar features these days. Like it's just kind of standard that TVs are smart TVs. This is HD 720 or something like that. I didn't realize until I was waiting for the elevator reading the box, but it's compatible with Apple AirPlay. So that's nice. Yeah, so this one was on sale at Target. Actually, I had a Vizio in college, that's right. And I did like it. This was a pretty good deal. It was like $40 off, so it was $150 or something. I vaguely entertained the idea of getting a framed TV for like two minutes when I learned what they were and how cool they looked, but then I found out it's like over a thousand dollars for a TV and I was like, yo. Okay, we've got parts, we've got stand pieces, like a Christmas tree stand. And it's not even that heavy, so I think it'll be easy. Wow, we have more plastic to peel off. Okay, so I'm gonna put the stand on the bottom. I feel like it's pretty simple since I'm not even hooking up cable. I just have to connect it to my Wi-Fi. Oh no, that is right. Okay, right on. 
I have to clear off where you're sitting right now and then we'll place her and plug her in. Honestly, I think I could do bigger, but also I feel like it's a good size. Like I, I don't know if I'd want it to be as big as the dresser. We'll see. Also when it's mounted, like you'll be able to see it from further. What do you guys think? I'm gonna plug it in. See, look how this remote, the entire top half is just like different streaming services. I was talking about it with my friend. Sierra texted us, oh, you guys, there's a whole new streaming service um, coming out. It's got SpongeBob on it. And we were like, at this rate, all the streaming services, because there's so many of them that you have to keep up with, they're gonna do a bundle eventually and it's just gonna be cable all over again, but like everything's on demand. What do you guys think? Very interesting topic, the future of streaming services. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it is a little small. I really like the look of the display though and the TV is very slim, like it's very sleek looking. Sitting back here and looking at it, I definitely think it could be bigger. Anyway, I posted a poll on Instagram just to get other people's opinions and 91% said go bigger. I mean, it's only been a few minutes, but still that's like a few hundred responses. Yeah, I feel like it could probably span like the width almost of the whole dresser. I could take it back to Target because I ordered it from Target and I live pretty close to one, but also I just don't really want to be walking down the street with a Vizio like big TV box. I might look into my options. I'm still connecting it to my Wi-Fi and I want to watch The Bachelor on it tonight. So we'll save the return for another day. But yeah, I think I could go for like a 50 inch TV or something. Just seeing the 32 in person. And I did measure it on the wall to get a sense, but still like when you see the whole thing, it's a better visual in person, so we shall see. I couldn't figure out finding ABC. I'm not sure if it's like an app I have to download or like in the free channels or what. I'm pretty sure they said it was on Vizio, so I don't know. But until then, I'm just airplaying it, which is actually so nice that they have airplay um, from my laptop and streaming it online. It's a commercial right now. Even if I do exchange it, like it's kind of nice for the time being. The quality is not there. It's the laptop. Maybe it's still loading. I missed the first 20 minutes, but whatever. I kind of forgot. Like what it's like to you know, like be in an office and use an office phone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like an hour into The Bachelor and I haven't watched anything because, well, I couldn't get my TV figured out. And then I was talking to my friends on the phone for a while because Sierra had her first day of work. She just started a new job. I'm so excited for her. If you guys don't know, Sierra is my best friend and podcast co-host. We talked about it on the podcast this week. And when this goes up, she's probably already talked about it because today's Monday. I am cooking dinner now. It's like, oh my God, it is nine o'clock. I used to be really good about intermittent fasting in the sense of like, I would stop eating early and not eat till later in the day. Slowly, I just pushed back and become like a late dinner eater for no valid reason. Now it's 9 p.m. and I'm making sweet potatoes. I'm gonna make a chicken sweet potato macro bowl. Sweet potatoes in the air fryer, toss them with some seasoning. Chicken's already cooked. So this will be really easy once these are cooked. I've definitely decided, I mean, I feel like I've already said it, but especially like watching the TV and sitting on the bed, I definitely think I'm gonna upgrade to a bigger one. I have this really yummy seasoning from my friend's hometown, black truffle garlic seasoning. I just got a packet of it. So I'm gonna put this on my sweet potatoes. <laughs> We're gonna try one of the seltzer drinks. Okay, I'm going for peach because I like peach things and lime just sounded too much like going out to me. Like when I go out, I would get vodka soda with lime and that just made me sad to be drinking it alone at home. So here we go, nude hard seltzer. I got so many messages. I posted this on my Instagram story and so many people are like, oh my God, I love those. Someone was like, they're from my hometown. They're from Canada. Shout out to the entire country of Canada really, but. Ooh, it tastes like a peach ring. That's really good. It tastes like light and not like fake sugar and not like alcohol. I'm impressed. I'm gonna finish making dinner now and wait for The Bachelor to come back from commercial. Okay, here is my dinner. It looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself. It is my kind of classic salad, macro bowl, spring mix, sweet potatoes, avocado, chicken, and roasted chickpeas on top. And then I have a balsamic fig dressing from Trader Joe's I put on it. It's really good. So I'm gonna eat this. It is almost 10 p.m. Like this is absurd for me. This keeps having troubles connecting, which is weird because I have really fast internet now, supposedly. I'm gonna try and watch The End of The Bachelor and eat this and have a nice night.